Hey there, welcome to this session. Let's begin this session by doing some deep breathing. So, take a deep breath in, hold and breathe out. Repeat again. Aren't you feeling fresh and energetic? But tell me, where does the air actually go when we breathe? You might say it goes to our lungs. Well, yes, it is correct. The air passes through the respiratory tract and then enters the lungs. So, let's explore the features and the parts of the human respiratory system. The air enters the human body through nostrils, which then passes through the nasal cavity. The air is filtered by specialized hair-like structure in the nasal cavity called cilia. The cells of the nasal cavity secrete mucus which helps to trap the dust particles and blocks it from moving ahead. The nasal cavity also provides warmth and adds moisture to the air. The nasal cavity has specialized sensory cells that are sensitive to smell and odor. And yes, that is the reason why our nose is a sense organ. The nasal cavity opens into a much wider cavity called the pharynx. The pharynx is a common passage for air and food. It is easily visible when you open your mouth wide. Yes, the region behind our tongue. Has this ever occurred to you that while having food you cough <coughs> because the food accidentally entered the other pipe? Well, yes, this never happens otherwise. This is because the pharynx has a cartilaginous flap-like structure called epiglottis. This epiglottis closes the windpipe when we swallow the food. It prevents the entry of the food in the windpipe. So, while swallowing, if the epiglottis is partially closed, we cough. <coughs> <coughs> Followed by pharynx is a region called larynx, the voice box. The larynx in males is often seen protruding out. This is called the Adam's apple. From here, the air passes through a 4-inch long tube-like structure called trachea. The trachea is often referred to as the windpipe. If you carefully observe the structure, there are many C-shaped cartilaginous rings present on the trachea. Uh, what do you think is the function of these rings? These rings prevent the windpipe from collapsing. Close to the lungs, the trachea or the windpipe divides into two tubes called the bronchi. The single tube is called bronchus. Each of these tubes enters the respective lungs. On entering the lungs, each bronchus further divides into secondary bronchus, which further divides into finer tubes called tertiary bronchi and much finer bronchiole. By repeated branching, the bronchioles ultimately enter in a cluster of tiny air sac-like structures called the alveoli. They are often referred to as the air sacs. The alveoli are surrounded with blood vessels. They are the actual site for gaseous exchange. Now talking about the respiratory organ, lungs. Lungs are a pair of air-filled spongy organ located in the chest cavity. Carefully observe the size of the lung. Are the two of the same size? The right lung is larger than the left lung. Can you think why is it so? It provides space to accommodate the heart. Though centrally located, the base of the heart is slightly tilted towards the left and this space is provided by the left lung. The lungs are protected by a rib cage. Here is a question for you to think about. Why does the rib cage have a cage-like structure with gaps in between? And why is it not a closed, sealed structure? Think of it and share your response in the comment box below. So, this was a session giving you a brief idea of the human respiratory system. It comprises of the respiratory tract and lungs. In the next session, we'll study about the mechanism of breathing. I hope you like this session. If yes, then why wait? Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting science videos. 
do not forget to press the bell icon to receive updates from us. Thank you for watching.